are all doing really really well it's been a minute since I last uploaded which I, I do really really apologize for but to make up for that is day one of Halloween and as you guys may know from last year I did like themed videos all basis around Halloween and I really really enjoyed making them and I thought this year I want to go bigger and better and try and exceed expectations again so there is only one little catch this time round last year I did 30 days of videos and I'm tending to be struggling to get all that into this month of preparation so Halloween is still happening it's just not going to be as many videos but the videos that I am going to be putting out are going to be very very fun and just as exciting and there's going to be cooking there's going to be discussion videos as well as makeup related videos like today's one so if you're new and you're really, really intrigued to see what might be coming up and um, please subscribe that would be absolutely amazing so we have our new oh I've just stepped all over my product our new uh, backdrop for us that says beware witches casting spells so it's really really cute isn't it I'm trying to think where we got it from I want to say home sets but I could be wrong and as you can tell today's video is going to be all about classic horror liquid lipsticks now I was so intrigued by this concept and because these kind of colors are not what you particularly get in stores these days I can see as this being and a really really lovely collab it really really is and that is the LA Splash classic horror lipstick collection now I got mine from Beauty Bay they were very reasonably big price especially because they originate from America and especially LA from the name and so they were £12.50 I sadly didn't get all the colours because I thought that was a beautiful colour it is absolutely beautiful called uh, Miss Hyde and the only reason why I didn't get that one is because with it being very muted green I feel I won't get much wear out of it for me personally but if it's a look that you're looking for for Halloween and you're wanting a really statement green lip definitely check it out because these have blown my socks off already and I've not even tried them on my lips yet and then the second shade I haven't got is Miss Hyde preferably because it was out of stock but it looked beautiful it was like a brownie taupe orange so very very available for autumn which I'm gutted about but let's go to the ones that we do have shall we and discuss so I managed to get five of the liquid lipsticks now these have come with the most beautiful artwork I feel I've ever seen on liquid lipsticks I just it sh it shook me how much detail has gone into these they kind of have a bit of a comic book vibe going for them and I just love the fact that even monsters on the packet have the lipstick on as well I just find that so so cute and of course these are all cruelty free as well which also I really praise them for so this is the first thing I've ever used from this um, brand before and I am honestly so impressed so far so we're going to go through the and as well I'm going to be swatching them on my lips for you so you can get a bit more of an idea on this particular skin tone what they might look like so where do I begin my first shade that I have is called the mummy now this is a very very pale taupe uh, nude so I was really really nervous about this one because I thought my skin tone is just gonna look like I've got really really washed out lips and from what I can tell from the swatch it doesn't look as lifeless as I thought it would be which I'm really excited to try for the only little hiccup bless with this one is in transit it's like falling apart bless but I've found a way around of swatching them for you with a different brush um, Beauty Bay were very very lovely they sorted me out they got me a refund really quickly which I also commend them for so it wasn't too much of a hassle in order to fix the problem so I didn't want to just throw this away because I can still use this I just have to find another way around it so let's watch this one first thoughts 
on this shade I honestly thought I was not going to like it in the slightest like this is something I avoid so much because I feel like it makes me look ill but having it on it's kind of surprised me how much I'm liking it it's very very creamy which I didn't expect especially with it being a matte liquid lipstick too it's extremely creamy and it's actually drying really quick which is also really really good so I'm kind of really loving this I feel you could even if it looks very very harsh and dull you could even put a little lip liner over the top to try and enhance that natural color back into your lips so you don't feel like you're just losing shape and it's just forming into the rest of the skin but I'm really really liking this I did expect to but I really like it I feel this is one of those that if you wanted a real bold eye this helps but then it is still got a bit of real dramaticness to it with it being so pale looking really warm I see why this one is called the mummy you can see exactly why it is because exactly they have very dull lifeless looking lips so I feel this is such a perfect shade for the name it really is Frankie. Now this is your proper traditional blue tone red. Extremely, extremely lovely and I feel really, really flattering. It's got exactly the feel that you would expect for Frankie and I think this would be a perfect red lip for Halloween, absolutely. And this is the one I've only worn a full day through just yet and I have to say I was really really impressed with the wearability and how much it stayed on the lips especially like we always say red is the hardest to keep on your lips for every single reason from drinking to eating to just every day when you accidentally touch your face it ends up everywhere so I was extremely extremely impressed with this and I feel this is a lovely fall safe if because a lot of these colours are quite out there and if you're wanting to experiment quite lightly at first this is definitely a lovely one to try the formula is great and I feel it looks an absolutely beautiful red and I have enough reds in your collection they all feel differently they all look a certain they all have a certain difference to them I feel that's why I just can't stop like it's obsession so I really really love this one Okay, Drac is our next colour. As you can tell, it gives you a very vampy, seductress look, which I completely expected. And this is the one I feel I've had to work the most with. I think when you get colours like this, which are a deep burgundy, deep plum, which I see this is more on the plum side, I think the formulation is so, so hard to get right because it, then it, it can look very streaky, really gappy. You feel like you've got to put those layers on, then it... Then it then it starts to flake and I think this happens with every single one of those colours like this. It, so it did take a bit of work, I will say that. On, it looks lovely but I can still tell that it's very, very streaky. Now maybe as it's drying it's not going to be as noticeable but I can see out of all that I've tried so far maybe this is my least favourite just because it doesn't give the look slightly as you wanted it to be the colour is still beautiful I feel like it's just one of those you're going to have to be really really careful with <laughs> in terms of just the wearability from it but as it's drying down as you can see it's like leaving little gaps little lines are as well as like it just looks a bit untidy 
and it's such a shame because it is such a beautiful colour but I feel this happens a lot with these colours even on my hand it is a bit streaky too so I think it's just one of those that <laughs> takes a bit of work to do which just is such a shame because it is such a pretty colour I oh, darn it <laughs> Okay, next we have up is Creature. Just a little side note, guys. I am so sorry the state of my lips looks so, so swollen at the minute because these are so hard to get off, which I feel is such a good thing. I've literally been having to scrape them off so, so harshly. My lips are, free, are paying for it now. So I do apologise if there is, like, underlying other colours around the lips. They just don't want to go. As for Creature, now this is a colour I've never ever tried before and for some people would maybe be put off with because it is such a bold statement choice but I'm really, really loving it. I feel that those colours are going to catch people's attention and they're always going to be asking, what is that? And I feel it's just one of those kind of colours which just speaks for itself. It went on so lovely compared to Drac. This went on so amazing for a purple that I've ever seen before. It is honestly really, really comfortable, non-streaky, went on like a dream. And I also forgot to mention before when I was saying about there was two I left out of um, the collection. There was actually three. I've forgotten about Phantom, which was so similar to this, but I thought I'm just going to go for one because I feel like, especially these colours, yeah, I just thought they were so, so similar. So, yes, that's Phantom as well. So, Creature, honestly, I'm loving it. It kind of is giving me the craft vibes. It is Witches film is giving me those seriously 90s vibes and I'm really really loving it so I'm going to give this one five stars too I feel like I've not rated the others but I'm gonna give it five stars anyways last but certainly not least is werewolf now this is like I would explain as a stone a blue stone grey is how I would try and describe it as Again, a very unusual colour, something that I've never seen on the shelf before. And again, I really, really love it. Again, it, uh, it looks really, really wearable for such a bold colour too. And I just feel these colours are honestly so innovative and full of my expectations of what they would look like on. And I honestly thought they might look like a mess on me in particular, but now trying them on i'm really really impressed with them uh, i just feel like they're celebrating something that a taste of horror back in those days with dracula the mummy the creature from the black lagoon i feel it's so reminiscent of those and celebrates them in in the best way and the color combination is exactly how you would picture them to be and they look exactly as the picture they look online which sometimes doesn't happen rarely happens so there's also another great thing about it i wish i had the other colors as well to try for you guys which i'm so sorry about i'm just really really gobsmacked with how they look on the lips and i feel you guys especially for your halloween look should definitely hop onto beauty bay and have a look and see if any of these match your halloween look because i'm sure one of them at least will and I think it'll have the staying power to stay through your whole Halloween festivities, especially when it comes to those treats and drinks. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And pop down below what your favourite colour from the collection was. Oh, and also, what was your favourite horror creature movie from back in the day that you have grown up with, what your parents have shown you, because my parents have always been showing me the Hammer Horrors the Hammer Horror collection and I just feel this is perfect and I feel if they were to ever bring out any more colours in this line I would definitely be interested to see what they are. I'm just 
absolutely over the moon with them and I think they're definitely worth the money. And I shall see you guys in my next Halloween inspired video. I hope you have a lovely spell binding day. Bye guys.